In this one, we're going to look at how to take all these parts and put them into a smaller sheet size. So this sheet is currently four by eight feet and that's how it was designed. But for instance, if you had a smaller machine that you needed to fit these parts onto, we're going to take a look at how to do that. So first, if you have multiple sheets like we do here, you have to go into that second sheet or whatever else sheets you have. And we want to move all these parts to one sheet. So I'm going to right click on this and click move to sheet one. That's going to move that part there. And then we can go back to sheet one by click, double clicking on it. And then we want to take that part that is now overlapping. And I'm just going to move that off to the side anywhere there. So now we have all of our parts here. Our next step is we want to go to the sheet tab and sheet two is empty. So we're going to delete that. So right click and delete and we can delete any tool pass on that one. Now sheet number one, we are going to right click and edit that. This will be for our new size. So for this example, we'll do 33 by 33 inches, which is a common size for smaller hobby machines. So there is our job size. We're going to click OK and adjust the thickness if you need to as well. And now our project, you could see, is set up to be the size of our project or sorry, our machine. And now we can select all these parts and go to the nesting tool. Now the nesting tool is only going to be available if you're in VCar Pro, Cut2D Pro or Aspire. But if you're using the desktop versions, you're going to have to unfortunately manually nest all these parts. But if you do have the nesting tool, you can select that, set up whatever settings you want here. I'm going to use the original settings I used for that four by eight sheet. So I'll just use these settings here and click preview. And when you do that, you'll see that it will fit all the parts it can onto that single sheet. And then whatever parts cannot fit, it will create new sheets for those. And now click OK. And now you could see this will be cut with five sheets of 33 by 33 by 33 inch material. And now you can create toolpaths for each one of these sheets individually. And then just export those toolpaths and you'll be ready to go. That's all for this video. Make sure you like and subscribe for more. And if you want to master your Vetric software, make sure you check out my Vetric training classes linked right here, where we go much more in depth how to use the Vetric software step by step. And included with my training courses is weekly Q&A calls where I can answer your questions one on one and get the support you need. And if you want to watch another great Vetric tip, check out this video posted right here.